Every single minute, a huge amount of content is created and shared online. Only a fraction of it is far right, but its influence is disproportionately large because it's edgy, it's professional, and it's produced to appeal to young people. We need to be actively competing for market share of the hearts and minds of impressionable young people who would otherwise be attracted to the ideas and potentially the actions of far-right extremist groups. It won't work to try to delete all of the extremist content from the internet. There are too many sites where such content can be posted. Even if you delete a picture or a comment, it's not getting out of the head of the people. It's all about media literacy, because many, especially young people, don't know how to deal with some informations they, they gather on the internet. They don't know how to decide what is a liable source and what is a non-liable source. Many people online assume that counter-speech cannot succeed. We have found, though, that sometimes it does. Not all people who post hateful or even extremist messages are hardcore extremists. Some of them are just youth who are repeating what they have heard. If you can teach the potential recruits or the potential audience that such extremist messages are a way of manipulating them, then the audience will be better able to resist. The response to hate speech content online has to be more content, has to be flooding them out of the market. The space of alternative narratives is really about painting the picture of what society should be like. There's nothing more powerful than putting the hands of production and creation into young people themselves. Let's have them go paint that alternative narrative. Let's have them go tell a story about what they want society to be.